Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you a technique which is really important for shoulder rehabilitation as well as just general shoulder strengthening and conditioning. And that's a combined movement of what's called shoulder flexion and shoulder external rotation. Now, the external rotators are typically very weak, particularly in people that have had shoulder injuries or repetitive strain. We're naturally geared towards doing everything in front of us and that favours an internal rotation pattern and therefore these muscles become unable to fulfill the role they're meant to in that broad rotated cuff, trying to keep the head of the humerus in a congruent position regardless of what position you're in. So being able to utilize the external rotators through range of movement is super important when it comes to promoting healthy shoulder function. Now you're gonna need a resistance band for this particular technique. And this is a bit of a staple classic, the resistance band Physical therapists will dish these out left, right and centre and one of the most standard exercises given is the generic external rotation where you keep the elbows pinned in and as you move the hands out keeping the elbows bent the axis of rotation is the humerus and you externally rotate. Now while that is an exercise which promotes the external rotators of the shoulder to work of course it's not a particularly functional pattern what we need to do is to incorporate shoulder flexion with it. So, you lay the band over the palms of your hand, like you're holding a tea tray, and just either grip that with your fingers, or you can grip it between the thumb and forefinger, whichever feels more comfortable for you. The elbows are bent at 90 degrees, so you've got that tray holding position or forklift position, and you're going to keep that fixed bend of 90 degrees as you perform this exercise. So it's like you're performing an uppercut motion with the arm. We want to get some tension on the band initially. And as you do that, you want to bring the hands ever so slightly wider than the elbows. It's not an exercise where you're going to want to commit to a huge external rotation because you'll be incredibly limited in what you're able to do with the flexion component. So you start off with the arms parallel and then just give that external rotation force to bring the hands out, but keep the elbows in. At this point, you want to have a mild to moderate sensation of effort to hold the band tense. From there, keeping the hands wider than the elbows, you perform the dual uppercut movement until you feel that there's resistance and difficulty, and then you come back down. Now that's, to the elbow trained eye, looks like an incredibly simple move, but I guarantee you, when you perform this, you're going to feel muscles you kind of forgot you had. Muscles which are struggling very quickly. So this is not one to do bucket loads of repetitions, because you probably find you can't. But also, it might be very counterproductive to overload those muscles. When you go up, I normally tell people to kind of have this idea as if they're trying to burst out of shackles. And they're trying to do that movement. Because Guaranteed what will happen is as you perform this exercise, your elbows will widen because that's a far easier position in which to go to. The other thing that will happen is sometimes your elbows will straighten and the band will raise, but it's just through elbow extension. Yes, there's shoulder flexion as well, but as soon as those elbows straighten, you lose the external rotation force, which is really necessary for this combination movement. So just to recap. Of course, you've got a standard neutral position where you're standing, the knees are cushioned, you're standing tall, the crown of the head is pulled up, the back of the neck lengthened. And that's an important starting block because what you also don't want to happen as you perform this is to sway the hips forwards or significantly arch the low back or to hunch the shoulders as well. So you're going to find this as a challenging one, but this is why it's so important because if you can perform this movement where you're dissociating flexion of the shoulders from the neutral standing position with the head remaining still while keeping that external rotation force out, keeping the elbows in, you're going to get access to the external rotators of the shoulder working through range and this is really critical if you're going to rehab those shoulders to where you want them to or if you just want to bulletproof your shoulders long term. As I said halfway through that, don't be surprised if you can't do very many repetitions here. A lot of people will be doing three or four reps and they're spent. So as with all sorts of exercise, particularly if you're 
rehabilitating injury. Don't push to failure. Don't push to poor form, clenching your teeth and significant pain. You're just going up. And incidentally, with the amount you're going up, yes, ideally, you're going to be coming up to a position where your elbows are level with your shoulders, but you may not be able to do that. So if you find you can't get up that high, either because the elbows are rotating outwards or you just simply don't have the capacity to do it, it doesn't matter, just go down to a smaller level. You can just come up and forwards, but it's critical again. Keep those elbows in a range of movement you're able to do comfortably. This is a great one to have in your locker. Don't be despondent if you can't do too many repetitions though.